I'm a big believer in messages from the universe. When I hear something over and over, it either resonates with me or it excites me. This time, I ended up in Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, I just got to the gate, starting to get excited. Woo! And by the way, I'm at um, 7,000 feet elevation right now. All these guys you see around me are porters. Porters are the people who help carry all your stuff. It's official. This is so exciting. I'm about to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> no more cars, no more planes. I'm about to get on the Hero Plateau Trail and hike about two hours. All right, let's go. Let's start hiking. This is my house for tonight. I'm about to get the tour. Oh, this is the lounge. You opened the top part. Uh -huh. You do your business. When you're done, you flush it gentle. Make sure you save <laughs> Good morning. Got a little tea. Woke up in my tent. It was like 25 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attempt to wash my face. But I don't know why, because as soon as I wash it, I'm just gonna get dirty again. But I'm trying to stay clean out here, you guys. I'm leaving Shira Camp 1 and I'm headed to Mora High. This way is the Shira 2 route. And this way is Mara Hot. Now the sun is up, it's beautiful, the weather is gorgeous. Habari sas boy. Good morning. And we're hiking to the Shira Plateau. Okay. And everyone is doing good today. My name is Gamma Samuel. I am a mountain guide. I've been at the top more than a hundred times. There's a bunch of routes you can take. I decided to take the Shira route. And the reason I'm taking the Shira route is threefold. One, it's beautiful. You get to see all the terrain, personality, and views that Kilimanjaro truly offers. Two, it's not so crowded. And three, it's safe. It takes eight days. This will give you the time to acclimate properly. Two days down, ah! six to go. Note to self, bring less stuff in your backpack when you're going up Kilimanjaro. I just took my Diamox, which helps with the altitude adjustment. Look at that, look at that, there's frost on it. It was negative 10 degrees last night. Okay, Gemma. Yes. Where are we going today? Today we are going to <laughs> Buffalo Camp. Yeah, from here it's gonna take us just like seven or eight hours. This is long day compared to other days. Oh. The Swahili word of today is Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Leo is today. Oh, it means today? Yeah, Leo. I have a question for you yeah. about the glaciers. Yeah. Now I hear that they are going away, is that true? Yes, you know the nickname of Mount Kilimanjaro some years back was called the White Mountain, but oh. nowadays it's becoming Black Mountain. Oh. It's melting a lot. Porters, they're so fast. They're so haraka haraka. We go so pole pole. Uh, oh, fist bump, I like that better. Thank you. Jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> what I've really noticed from this climb is that each day has its own terrain. I just slept 10 hours. Isn't that nuts? Day four. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The clouds behind me almost look like ocean. They're so beautiful. I'm currently at 13.2 elevation. I'm above the clouds. Okay, <laughs> now we are on the way going to second cave. Sometimes you have to pull over on the Kilimanjaro Highway to let the porters go. That's K2. 
Camp 4 right behind me. About to roll up on it. What's the Swahili word of the day? Sasa hivi. Yeah, if we say sasa hivi is right now. Did you know you can take a shower leading up to Mount Kilimanjaro? Well, you can. I just hung up my clothes. I'm in my towel. There's my flip flop. Hot water in a bag with a spout. I'm gonna take a shower. Morning. It's day five. I woke up at second cave. That's the camp that I'm at. I'm at 11.2 elevation right now and I'm headed up to 14 by the end of the day. Day five is shaping up to be a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's clear outside. Today we are heading to Mawen's Tani Hut, the camp which is very amazing because we're gonna have the small lake which is called Tani Hut. Let me show you around camp a little. I'm getting dressed for the day. Everything is dirty. I think it's impossible to keep your clothes clean. D6. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I just slept at 1416 elevation and now I'm headed up to 15.5. We are heading to the top of the ridge and then down and up and, and then gradual ascent all the way to the camp. How long is it gonna take us, you think? It's five to seven hours. There's two words there, there's Kilima, which means mountain, and then Jaro means water, so mountain of water. Made it to Camp 6. Woo! That's the kitchen. That's a guide's tent with a guide outside. <laughs> that's my house. The little pointy one, that's my toilet. That's where I eat, that's the dining hall. And that's my lounge. Welcome to the lounge. Okay, after hiking for six days and overnighting on five different camps, I'm now in Kibo camp. And tomorrow, the next step is summiting that girl right there. Waking up at 3.30 in the morning. Summit day. Get ready, head out at five, and then it's go time. Day seven. I'm sorry, I look like total shit this morning. It's 3.30 in the morning. That's my shower for today. <laughs> Little bowl of hot water. I haven't washed my hair in seven days. Eh. Summit time. Got all my gear on, feeling like a ninja. It's like five in the morning. It's cold as hell. Here we go. Beautiful. So pretty. Sun came up. It's warming things up. That makes me happy. I'm smiling. Ah! I'm slipping. It's a little harder to breathe. Like a fish out of water. And you bet your ass I'm gonna summit. We are above the clouds and above Moenzi now. I'm walking over little baby rocks. You might call it scree. It's a beautiful day to summit. Woo! Made it to 16.5. Where are you from? Spain. How'd it go? Went very well. We made it. Some of us even cried and everything. It's, it's really exciting. Go for it. I started mine around 5, which I think is better. You're not in the dark as long. Dark equals cold. The air is super thin and dry. I made it up to Gilman's Point. Cannot catch my breath. I just keep going. I'm almost to the summit. Just go real slow. All of a sudden, I was worried I wouldn't summit. I started feeling so sick because I hadn't eaten in eight hours. But I got some food in me and pushed on. I made it to 189. I'm crying. I'm laughing. I'm gonna make that goddamn summit. It's the last thing I do. 
Oh my god, there's a sign! Finally, you guys! I summoned it. It might be some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay, it's day eight. I'm descending. So happy I summited yesterday. Now it's all downhill. I forgot to ask you the word of the day today. Pamoja. Pamoja? Which, yeah, which means together. Together. Yeah. So we summited together. Yeah, we, we did it. Yeah. It tells you you have to sign out and you have to put the point you made it to and I made it to Uhuru, which is the summit. It's official. 